Hey guys, Strubblewick here today, and welcome back to Cities of Skylines. So, uh, between episodes, I messed around with the, the highways a little bit. I built the new bridge and connection like I said it was going to. Not many people using it yet. I mean, obviously, there's some cars going down here. I've got this new sort of... Uh, I wouldn't so much call it an interchange as a road crossing. I don't know, but it works. It works with the amount of traffic we have. Uh, I did up this area a little bit more, added in a new road. Uh... So I could, you know, ease the traffic flow because it's ma it was mainly like no matter what I did to this intersection, it was all the industrial traffic coming this way and turning right and blocking everything up. So I gave them a tunnel. I'm not I'm not entirely happy with that, but we're gonna go for it for now. Go with it for now. Sorry, uh, <laughs> I added that road in there. I don't know. It, it's just kind of looking ridiculous at this point. But anyways, that's that's a problem for another day, really. Uh, yeah. So I continued this uh, sort of. Four lane highway, we've got two lanes on each side, then sort of joins together for this bridge, goes across and goes back into the two lane up to Umba. I believe that's Umba, right? Yeah, yeah and that is Umba Cargo Terminal. Yeah, because people are like, you, that's not Dean. But it's like, if you watch the rest of the episode, then you know it wasn't, because I fixed it. Did I fix that one? Yeah, I did. I don't think that one was ever broken, or that one. Good. Okay, so this episode, well, first of all, here's what I'm going to say. The next probably 20 episodes of Skylines, or 18, uh, gonna be pre-recorded, meaning that no feedback will be taken into account until, like, 20 episodes down the line. Now, the reason for this, uh, and I'm, I'm saying this at the beginning of all my series that are gonna be pre-recorded, uh, is because I'm going overseas for about five weeks. So I'm leaving in about a week and a couple of days, so I've got to, so basically I'm pre-recording for about six to seven weeks or so of content. So, uh... <laughs> Yeah, no, that's a lot of work for me, but just, just, you know, keep that in mind. So the videos will be a little bit shorter than normal, probably about 20 to 30 minutes each. Uh, and there's not going to be any feedback until I get back. Either that, or we can have no content. It's up to you, but I, <laughs> I think pre-recording content is probably a better way to go. Um, and given the fact that I have two, like two channels that I post daily on, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of work to do. So just, just bear with me. I hope you guys understand. And if you don't, well, screw you. Uh, okay. So we need to start developing down there. Cause we got, a, I do actually have a lot of demand for, um, residential and commercial. Wait, wait when do we get the next piece of land? 50,000. That's actually quite a while away. So. Well, yeah, I always wanted to develop around here. Oh, yeah, I put that interchange in there because it was originally a trumpet interchange. Uh, like, God, we don't have any more. Like one of those. But I needed to have a, have a four-way interchange uh, so I could join up to the other... Oh, no, not that road. Join up to the other highway there. Uh, so I had to change that up because the trumpet was not handling it very well. So, you know, I had to do that. Uh, yeah, so we're going to build another little town along the riverfront here, or at least opposite uh, Dean. Now, we got to... Treat this like an actual highway. This is not- this is not a road. This is... Much more of a highway. Although, I guess we could treat it like a road. You know what? Screw it. Let's treat it like a road. I'm gonna remove this. But, I mean, like, it's gonna be a highway, right? Okay, so we're gonna have highway speeds on it. But we're gonna treat it... More like a road than a highway, if that makes sense. So we're gonna use this... Uh, four laner. Uh, it's just so we can have this running... In the middle of- Cause it's just gonna be a small town. It doesn't need... Super magnificent connections or anything like that. Uh, okay, so then this is going to go, um, let's just go two lanes, some roads, boop. Oh yeah, so what this also means is if there's any updates to the game or any of the mods in the next seven weeks or so, uh, yeah, that won't be in my game. Uh, <laughs> that won't be in my game until I get back. So just, just, just keep that in mind. And if any new people come along and be like, why doesn't he ever listen to what we say? Such an idiot. Or why hasn't he updated his game in like a month? What a noob, learn to update. Then just let them know, because it's gonna it's gonna be one of those things where it's like, well, there's nothing I can do about it now. I did my best before I left, and that's all I can do. Okay, let's um up the speed limit on the, on this road, of course. So this is gonna be, like I said, gonna be highway speed limits on here. And by highway speed limits, I mean 100 kilometers an hour. Uh, let's see, 140. <laughs> no, 100. Okay, so that's gonna be 100 along there. So it's still acting like a highway, uh, but it's just so we can connect up a town pretty easily here. Now, the way we're going to do this, let's just pause because I need to, uh, this is going to be sort of a road that runs along here. Maybe like that. I don't like, I don't like the little cliff it's making there. Let me, let me, let's bring that back from the coast a little bit. That's a little, little too close for comfort. It's uh, snapping that on. There we go. Much better. Okay, we're going to do some, uh, we're going to have to do a lot of micromanaging here. Okay, turn that off. Now what we're going to do 
to make this work, hopefully decently, is going to go this guy, th well, that lane is going to turn right, this one's going to keep going forward, and similar thing here, that one's going to turn left, and that one's going to keep going forward. So that means anyone trying to turn off shouldn't interfere with the people uh, continuing on on the highway, or at least that's the idea. And then these guys can just turn into the inner lanes and then merge later on. That'll be fine. That should work. That should work okay. Actually, no, you know what we can do? No, instead of those guys going in the inner lane, or that guy, uh, that means these guys can actually merge into this this lane here without any interrupting traffic flow. How good is that? That'll be perfect. Um, okay, then I, what I want to do is actually move back a little bit, a little bit further to about here, prevent any lane merging at this point. So that means they can't, mer the, the closest point they can merge at is here. So any, basically that, what that means is we can have the right hand lane here backing up till about this point without it affecting the traffic going forward. So this is basically to give us a nice little bit of leeway to people trying to turn off. Um, cause who knows how much this is going to, how much traffic this is going to get. We may have to turn this into a proper highway at some point, but for now, we don't really need to worry about that. So let's let's not, basically. Let's not worry about it because we don't need to. I wouldn't mind doing another little bridge, like a, a small road bridge down the bottom. Like something down here. We could do that. Uh, let's have a look. Let's go to like... Let's get it fairly level. Because, I mean, the more the more connections we have, the better it's going to be, essentially. The fewer, the fewer connections, obviously, the worse traffic's going to be on those connections. Now, can we get this up? Oh, there was a point. That makes a tunnel. That doesn't make a tunnel. That does make the, the train line glitch out, though. So let's not do that. Uh, what we could do... Because we, we... I mean, we definitely need to go this way. I, we could do that. There you go. That's alright. Then I'll go around to there. There you go. A little, little switchback road. I don't know if anyone's going to use that. I mean, we'll find out. There you go. A little road up there. That's a, a little bit bumpy. I might actually... You know what? We'll just create, a, we'll create our own road. Or our own slope with blackjacks and hookers. Because that's how we do here. There you go. Now, if the, I bet the road's not going to want to... Hang on, if we go from that point... Oh, whoops, I didn't actually mean to do that. Whoops. That point to there-ish. No, because what it needs to... No, hang on, what we need to do is level it to there. Yeah, there you go. So we can get from there to here. That's better. Okay, otherwise it will still... Yeah, there you go. All right, so that should be able to go straight up here now. Uh, like so. Nice. Now it's not so bumpy anymore. You got a nice little level bridge down the bottom, and I'm I'm trying I'm really really fighting back a sneeze right now. Ooh, no, we good. Okay, let's bring the water pipe over this way. What we also need to do, uh, and also for some reason take it back over that way too. Uh, I need a. I, I realize I need more uh, garbage handling, so let's get another. So we have a couple over here, we have one there, we have one there. We could use one out near Umber. Probably another one near Dean. Why don't we get one along the- <laughs> DEAN! Let's get one along that road there. Is that the large one or the small one? Oh, that's small. Okay. Well, let's get a large one out this way. Probably by, uh, the cargo train station. We could just- maybe just get it by the entrance of the town somewhere. Probably be fine. About there. Um, yeah, so I- I also changed this road to only, uh, in well, I, I prevented civilians going on this because I noticed a few people from the town were coming down this way and doing a U-turn and just blocking that out. Oh, that was the other thing I did over here. So I redesigned the way that these cargo train stations are connected. So essentially, if you're trying to go to this cargo train station, you can completely bypass that one and go around. And now you may notice these little loop de loops I've got going on here on both of them. Uh, that's basically to prevent, because what essentially is happening in this right-hand drive, or right-hand drive, left-hand drive city, is uh, if you have the road going right next to it, because the entrance is on the left, and the exit is obviously, well, on the right, for instance, this way, on the left and that way, the traffic actually, and because we had the one-way road going that way, if it was going the other way, it would have been fine, but because we had it going the one-way road going around this way, they had to, the traffic kept having to cross in front of each other when they wanted to turn in or out, which was really just poor planning on my part when we first built this, but uh, doing it this way around has sort of fixed that out a little bit. Oh, did I, I don't know if I even said it, but I put a tunnel in there as well because there's so much traffic trying to get out of there. Uh, the entrance is also clogging up a little bit, but, you know, problem for another day. Uh, pro problem for one of the next future 20 episodes I'm about to pre-record today, so. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, a lot of water, now we should have enough incineration, all good. I still don't know why that, oh, well, okay, no, that explains why that's not working. <laughs> I still don't know why that one's not working. It's because it's not connected to the road. Um, no, that one, this one was disconnected because, 
because it uh, because I changed this road. This used to be a single single road, but now it's two. I can't connect it to the other way. So they're gonna have to. If they want a U-turn. They have to go that way. Oh, they actually can't U-turn. There's actually no way to U-turn and go back. And what we could do uh, is actually if we go, can we get a if we can get a road under uh, like here somewhere. That would actually work, you know? I mean, obviously the game doesn't want me to. Uh, what about... I swear there was like a blue... A blue point dial. Where's the blue point? I can go... I can go there. Uh, see, that would be good for a U-turn, but I don't think I can do that. What about there? That's not a U-turn, that's... See, so that... Yeah, if I put a road there, that actually would be allow those guys to U-turn. If I put a road... There... That would do nothing, because they just go up and down. <laughs> Wait, is this built right? Hang on, those guys can go left, they can also go right, alright. These guys can go left, they can go right. Okay, what about these guys? These guys can go left, okay. And they can go right. Oh yeah, it is built correctly, they can all go the, the way they need to. Um, I wish I could just connect that up there, but it, uh, it will not let me, so... Well, I was going to say like that. Okay. Um, back over here then, We want because we want to actually develop this area. Is anyone using this road? No, I might. I'll, I guess we should probably up the speed limit on that though a little bit. Maybe they'll want to use it then, because it's probably yeah, it's like forty. I won't go a hundred because this isn't this isn't supposed to be like a highway. It's just supposed to be a little connecting road between the towns. Uh, I think we'll make it maybe maybe we'll go seventy. Yeah, that that seems reasonable. I mean, maybe not around this bit. Uh, I might actually uh, slow that bit down because uh, you know that's a pretty sharp curve for seventy. Let's get let's go fifty on that. And then you can go 70. Then you can floor it across the bridge. That'd be good. There you go. We're getting, we've got three bridges in now. How about that? I mean, most people seem to use the first bridge just because it's physically closer than this one. Although, you, you'd think like this, like Dean and Umber would use these ones. Uh, use that one to get along. But they don't. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. They just don't do it, though. All right. Let's go out this way. Yeah, so we're building another town here, basically. Uh, so the main city, in case you're wondering, is, is going to be in this area here, like we said earlier. Probably bounded by these highways. So it's not going to be a huge city. It will probably merge into, like, this side of the highway and probably into King Park and all that. Uh, and then the rest of the map will probably be towns that will slowly expand over time as well. Uh, which we will hopefully be able to manage. Like, hopefully we'll be able to keep the, the traffic moving on them. No, no guarantees of that. Uh, the cops just came across the bridge and went back again, so there's that. Uh, that can go into there. Uh, I mean, that will probably do for now. We can get another road. We can get a road going down there, though, right? It's a little bit bumpy, but it's all good. Yeah, nice. Um, so, if we then basically just fill this out with some commercial to start off with, because there is commercial demand. So, we get a little bit of high density on this main road. Gonna need some power and probably services here, otherwise they're gonna be angry. Where do we get power from? We could bring it back across the river, or... We could not do that and go this way. So we're also gonna need... To figure out how we want to get the train lines out over here. So... Oh, that's gonna go across the water and look kinda weird. Uh, yeah, we need to figure out how I want to do train lines. Uh, because... Because currently our passenger train loop... Well, it's not a loop. Tra passenger train line goes through Pine, around to Dean, and up to Umba. And then back, obviously. But, this is sort of, this is now kind of out of it. Like, it doesn't really fit into the existing train uh, circuit. So I don't really know what I want to do with that. Uh, cargo line, not, not so difficult. We can just add a little branch off. I guess we could just do a shuttle train. Uh, I don't know. Uh, anyways, there's some people building out here. Let's, uh, let's give them some services so they're a little bit happier. Let's give them a little medical clinic. Let's go down here because there's nobody building here yet. There, there you go. Little uh, crematorium maybe further down the road. How about over there? It's out of the way. It's all good. Little fire department. There's no power over here. Let's get that in there. Maybe that will connect to the power. I don't think it did. Police department. Maybe if we put it right there, it will connect to the power. Uh, connect. Connect. Nope. It's not Xbox connecting. <sighs> Alright, let's, let's get a little school. No, let's get a high school. In there, because that's such a big spot. Oh, can this? Oh, hang on. We can put it there. 
can destroy your business that you just built. Oh wow, that no, that is a big slope. They weren't kidding when they said that the slope was too steep. No, that is uh, that is pretty steep. I will uh, I'll pay that. Uh, and elementary school there. There you go. Can this just connect though? I mean, I guess we'll go from there. Or not, because that's the bridge is in the way to there to there. All right, there you go. Okay, so we got we got a high school. It's all good. I mean, it, it kind of cuts the terrain pretty roughly, but uh, no, 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 terrain. There you go. I wanna I wanna bring that down a little bit though. Maybe maybe if we bring it all down, it won't look so weird. <laughs> it looks even worse now. Um, let me smooth it. Just smooth it. There you go. It's not not so bad now. Uh, I guess that's the problem of having schools on really hilly terrain. Like having a really hilly map and having giant European schools for some reason. Okay. Alright, well anyways, they, they want some residential, so let's get that in. Uh, let's go over... No, let me, let me just use the little painty brush. There you go. You can live by the crematorium, that's all good. You can live out to there and then... Not on that road. I don't feel like you should live on that road. Maybe not behind the crematorium. Uh, let me do... Hang on, let me just redo this. There we go, get rid of that bit. Good! Alright, and then of course on the, this road as well, that's fine. Uh, you can... Get in some... Yeah, there's some commercial there. Around this little central square. We should probably get like a little pathway through here or something. Before people start building here. So go straight through there. There you go. Nice. Convenient and nice. What about straight through there? Nope. That's too convenient. That's uh, a little bit... Too convenient. Unless we can... I, I'm pretty sure we can sneak it through here, right? Oh no, the school is like there. No, I don't think we can. Never mind. Never mind. We can totally get one... Uh, can we get thrown through there? No. I mean, we can get a road... A road uh, path there, but... I mean, we're not going to be building stuff on the highway, so... It doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, Alright, they want some industrial, and by that we can fulfill it with offices. So that's all good. We'll just do that. Uh, okay, but I need to really quickly think about how I want to do uh, rail. Let's also just take this around the zoning to there, just so they have a little bit of power and then they can uh, they can live. Okay, so well, as for cargo train line, we can uh, we can definitely just branch that off of here and go under. So that's that's not really an issue. Uh, or we could even bridge it from over here. It'd probably make more sense to bridge from here because we already got a. A, a train line right here. So why don't we go uh, train line here. Now if we did it from this way yeah that'll be fine. Then we'll come down. Now actually where do I want to put it though? Uh, actually let's figure out where the station is going to go first. Can we fit one along here somewhere? Because I feel like it's going to be all too steep. Yeah, probably. It's going to have to be further back. It's going to have to be like over here somewhere. So, we need to get the train line. Probably to come over here. On the other side of the road. Then come across. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's going it's becoming a little bit more difficult. Let's, okay. Now let's go. So, this is going to be like our main town road down here. So, this is kind of where we want it to be. Let's go out like this. And then... Let's go, let's go right to the edge. Uh... And then probably just come off of that somewhere. So if we do it on the side here, because I, I don't want it blocking the main road. So if we go there. Wait, is that the right one I placed? No, nope, that's totally not the right one. I didn't think so. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't feel right. There we go. Okay. Uh, now I would like to, if we could just go under the road, that'd be good. Because I mean, that'd be nice without building a tunnel. Because you know, I'm all I'm anti-tunnel. I'm anti-tunnelist. Okay, there we go, so that'll go there. Then we need to somehow, we'll probably have to bridge that road anyways, but yeah. Oh, oh maybe not. Okay, so then we're going to go down and then straight across. Straight across, 180 degrees, wherever that is. Uh, around here somewhere, there it is. Uh... Hang on, hundred and right. Let me just go this way because I. It's better. It's better if I see it from the side. All right, hundred and eighty degrees is there. So we need to go 
I need this to be not doing that and like bridge from higher up. No, no, no don't do that though. Uh, maybe like that. What is this doing? No, this is weird. No, I wanted to. Hmm. <laughs> this is doing a really weird bridge. Like, I don't want it to go down that. Like, start that low. I used to start like. Hang on. There was a there was a spot there, like sort of up there, but it'd be like that. Twenty four me. Oh, see, it's still sloping down a little bit though, which is not good because considering we need to go up at the end anyways. Um, it's a really tall bridge. It seems like unnecessarily tall. Uh, all right, across and uh, one eighty. How come? How come as soon as you make it one eighty, it like goes down? I was like. Yeah, like, see, there's pretty good. Uh, you do that. I'm okay with that. Then, we're obviously, we're going to have to do a tunnel, because... I was going to go over the road, but I don't think that's really feasible anymore. So it would look dumb. Makes more sense to just tunnel into the ground. At least, visually, it makes more sense to do that. And then... Come up over this way somewhere. And then it goes to there, and then it'll go... Somewhere around here. There you go. Alright, so then that can connect uh, to that train station as well if it needs to. Alright, there you go. Easy does it. What is this place going to be called, doll? Well, I, I don't know if I'd call that easy does it. That was quite difficult. Uh, so this is going to be Briar. Briar. Uh, right, no, I don't like that. <laughs> no, it's not a good single, single word town name. Briar. Uh, let's see. How about... Heather. Eh. Yeah. Well. I guess. If it has to be. Uh, let me take it off the highway there. Because actually, yeah, that's what some people mentioned to me. They're like, you should uh, make sure you don't do districts on the little highway roads. Because then we can do heavy traffic bans in the cities if we need to at some point. Uh, without effect. Because obviously, districts don't affect highways. But these aren't really highways. So... If we want to do heavy traffic ban, and I've got all my districts overlapping the little highway roads, that's going to be an issue. So, you know. Although, I guess a forestry doesn't really matter, because that's industrial. So, yeah, we'll, um... Well, that one's fine. Oh, Dean is actually not big enough. <laughs> Dean does not actually cover all of Dean. There you go. Or it doesn't even cover Dean University. Although, I guess we can make Dean University its own thing. Yeah, let's make it its own. Make it its own annex. Own Dean University annex. There you go. So this will be Dean University. These are all the grounds that they own, supposedly. Uh, we'll just get in that little bit there. Orchid Park. Ha! Nope. Dean University. There you go. Beautiful. Uh, and then over here. Oh, that's fine for now. Shiitake Lake is all good. That's all good. Uh, that one's fine. And that one's fine as well. Okay. All good. So... Uh, that's it. So now we have, yeah, so we have cargo train line here. We should probably name this to get rid of the train. Uh, what is this? Heather. Heather cargo terminal. Sure. And it's going to be just Heather. Just Heather. No hills. Uh, we're going to probably want some parks here as well. Otherwise people will be a little bit sad. What about, can we fit a big one in or is it, is it going to be too, too slopey? Don't slope it doll. We fit one in there. See, I would like it in the middle there, because that's kind of the little park, grassy area. That's alright. We destroyed a few buildings. That's okay. There you go. Look at that. That's beautiful. Now, did this reset the speed of the highway when we built that road there? Because sometimes it does. It didn't. It still says it's 100. But just to be safe... Uh, 90, 100. I don't know. I don't even know, like, if it's set properly, but... Uh, there you go. There's a few people using this road as well, which is good to see. Now, are they using this as a bypass? Oh, that's interesting. What? Why would you do that? Some of them, like, some of them are coming down this way through Heather, up onto the highway and going that way. And then, what? Why would you even do that? You could just, you could either just go that way or go up the back and go that way. Uh, alright. Might, might just be that little glitch where sometimes when you build a new road, yeah, people use it in a stupid way. I don't know, it does that sometimes when the traffic is like, Oh, there's a new road, let's use it! But it doesn't really need to. Oh, let's go no water. Sorry about that. 
And I probably want to change that road to be like direct feed. Let's tell the girl what are we talking about? There you go. There you go. Do we have enough water though? Yeah, we have enough water. Uh, well, we don't, we don't really need to change that road yet to make it more efficient because, I mean, that's not using it. I would like to see a train coming to it though. Uh, where you go? Are you going to it? Uh, no, you're going to Dean Cargo Terminal. Don't go to Dean Dull. Don't go to Dean Dull. So, alright, so I, I'm actually really happy with the, the train network we have in the city because it's, it's actually really, really good. Like, the amount, like, you'll, you'll notice the amount of cargo trains we have traveling internally is far greater than the ones we have traveling externally. Like, here they are. Here's one coming back in now. Let's bring cargo back into the industrial area. And then, like, oh, look at this. Like, and there's just trains going everywhere all the time. Like, all the cargo trains. If you have a look on the track, there's one. Let's see. There's another one there. Uh, there's probably another one around here. Somewhere. There's one. There's one. Of, there's two waiting there. There's one going out that way. There's one coming back. Yeah, no, it's actually working really, really well. Ah, uh, so good. It's it's such a such a beautiful sight to behold. Okay, but passenger train line. How do I want to do that? Because we what we oh that's got no water. Uh, what we could do is sorry about that, guys. Uh, is okay. So if we have if we have a look at this, if I can go out further, there we go. So our, our passenger train line goes one, two, three, four, five. Is the stops, and it obviously goes back like that. Uh, it's, re yeah, we really need to just do a second train line that goes one, two, and then into the, into the main city. Like there'll be a hub around here somewhere for the, for the, the city center. So it'd be like one, two, and then it'll go there. And then that'll be like a transfer into that. And I'll go up and then we'd have like another train line going up that way. Oh yeah. You can go like one, two, three. Oh, let's do that. No, let's do that. Let's start working on that now because that would be useful. Let's actually hook and up and a, uh, uh, a central train station. I would like it a little bit further down, but we can always move it. Um, let, uh, we, let's not actually build a train station. Let's just build where the tracks are going to go. So, yeah, so then this will... Ideally, what I want to do is have all the all the train lines spawn out of the, the one central, grand central station we're going to have eventually. So let's say the train, li the train line comes out of this way. And then it will go like this. I'll run through the city. And then it's gonna we're gonna have to go through Heather's, so we're gonna need to go. Uh do you reckon is this I wish I could No, it's definitely not sloping in any direction, but we go this way, I think. And pause. I like to go under and under there. How can we could do that? Straighten un straightens unders. Straightens unders. Uh no, the wrong way. Sorry. All right, right under there. Good. And then, where does this level out to? Because oh, that's alright. Yeah, that will work. So we'll have this sunken down all the way through here. We'll probably end up building around this, or either just smooth it out, and make it look a little bit better. Uh, good thing I got like two point six million dollars. Uh, <laughs> and then this this train line will probably end up being around here somewhere. Uh, that'll be fine. So we're gonna go from there to let's say there. That'll be nice and smooth. All good. In the hood. That'll go from there. Back here. And like so. And this will be the beginning of one of our major arterial train lines. Uh, so it's going to come up this way. Through here. And then we'll get the train station in a second. Okay, then we can just build the, the highway. Back over it. Well, this one's like a this is like a faux highway. This ain't a real highway, but you know what I mean. Oh no, the humanity doll. Oh, there we go. That's better. Doing it that way. Cool. Uh, and then, then we just build this one back as well. Uh, so that's gonna be probably just straight across, right? No, it doesn't actually go straight across. It's actually a little bit of a curve to it, which actually makes it ten times more difficult to get right. Uh, Okay, well. Oh, there you go. That one wasn't so bad. No no terrain glitches. All good. And then this one goes to there. And there and there. Mm. That one's a little bit bumpy, but whatever. That's a. Eh, well. Yeah, well. That, that happens. Okay. Uh, train station. 
this is gonna go over here somewhere. Uh, not an ideal place for it though. Let's actually build this straight out. Let's go. So, because this is going to be a road that connects straight into the main road there. So, I'll go straight in like that. That'll be fine. And then this can go out that way. Connect onto that road. That makes sense. And, I don't know. There, sure. Whatever. Alright, so then this train line is going to go to... Well, train station, sorry. It's going to go there somewhere. Well, it's going to need some bus lines in a minute for sure too. Because we haven't done that. Although, I think we have to leave that for another episode. We're kind of coming to the uh, to the end of this one. I think I think that'll have to do us there because, like I said, pre-recording. I got lots to do, so I I, I can't do one episode to each one. Uh, that'll do us for this episode. So next time we're gonna do a little bit more of the train line, uh, and then continue expanding. We need for what fifty thousand people uh, to to get the next piece of land. The next piece of land will most definitely be this one here, so we can start on the the main center of the city. If I can speak probably center of the city uh, and, uh, and get in the, the train station hub because what we'll end up doing is probably we'll adjust the existing passenger train line to originate from here and so then these will all sort of branch out from that point uh, which would be pretty pretty cool now what I what I would like to do and I really don't think it's going to be quite that easy uh, the way we've set this up is to have the multi-track stations because I've got a double track station I think I also have another one don't I uh, uh, oh, that's just a different version of a four pla- Oh, actually, hang on, what is that? It said four platform. Oh, yeah, just because, yeah, yeah. So, I, I got two double track stations. I would like to use at least one of these to have, uh, like, a line passing through it somewhere. I think it's going to be pretty hard unless we completely move where that train station is, uh, to do it there. We would probably be able to do it up here if we needed to, but, uh, anyways. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time, and have an awesome day. Bye.